With Philip Mangano acting as confidant, Larry Norman began to construct a carefully tailored persona that was sort of a cornucopia of styles and images taken from other artists. Uh, you know, that was just his style. He got their ideas, I think, from them. Checking out other albums. He copied everybody from Bob Dylan to Leon Russell. The Solid Rock logo, of course, came the open mouth with uh, three crosses deep inside. And of course, I always interpreted it as a, a play on the Rolling Stones. He was always planning. He was always thinking of how his material could lay out in a certain way and what the album jacket would look like, what the back would look like, what the liner notes would be, what the inside, what the fold out, what pictures would be in the fold out, everything symbolic. But not only did Larry shape the iconography used on his albums by borrowing heavily from mainstream artists, he enveloped himself further into his Christian rebel personality by immersing himself in the mythology of Mick Jagger, John Lennon, and Bob Dylan. Larry was really uh, in, enthralled with people that knew how to galvanize something in the culture, like Bob Dylan. They were the actor and the director. They, they were, in, they were do, in the midst of doing what they were doing, but they could also step back and go, now this is going to be the most effective way. He always wanted to be, I guess, the Rolling Stones. That's really Mick Jagger, I think, was who he really wanted to be. But in fact, he was Bob Dylan in Mick Jagger's body. We were young and, and cocky, but we knew, you know, we knew we were, we were pretty good at what we did artistically and, and, and we knew that God was up to something and somehow we got to be a part of it.